hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to install ubuntu server on any of your computer today i'm installing it in my brother's old laptop and i will be using it for hosting his shop's website that i created and also for storing data just like google drive it will be cloud storage Watch my previous video to make a bootable USB drive, which I will be using in this video. Okay, first of all, my laptop doesn't have battery, so I have to connect it to power source and also connect it to a router for internet. And then connect uh, bootable USB with Ubuntu server to the laptop and boot it into BIOS now select USB drive and boot from it select the first option now wait for some time depending on your hardware it may take shorter or longer Now when you get this prompt, select your language, for me it's English. Now if you want to update, then you can update, I'm updating. Again updating can take some time. Now select your keyboard, for me it's default. Now select the first option Ubuntu Server. It is a good idea to set a static IP address for your server. I am changing IP before address to manual. In DNS field you can use as same as mine, but others are different in your case. Once setup is done, just click on done. I am not using any proxy so I can skip this and no need to modify this address and I am using this whole drive so default is fine for me you have to confirm storage partition now enter details for your server the setup is easy Yes, we want to use SSH server so that we can SSH into our server from Windows machine or any other machine later on. It will be easy for server management. And I'm not using any of the packages over here, so let me skip this. The server is installing in your system. Wait for a while, it is gonna take some time. Once you get option to reboot the system, reboot it. It will also take some time. Sometimes your system will not reboot and you will get this type of continuous running codes. Then you can force shut down your computer and start it. Okay, once you get this screen, you can log in with username and password that you said before. In Ubuntu server, there is no graphical interface. You have to do all the works through command line. Installation is already complete. Now we are updating and upgrading APT packages, which you should do every time you use the system. Let me log in now. 
here while typing password nothing will be shown in the screen just type and press enter okay we are logged in now now let me log in as root with command sudo su and enter a root password now since we are logged in as root let me update with apt update and after running apt update command let's upgrade packages with apt upgrade you should do this every time you log into system this command apt upgrade can take some time for the first run you have to confirm which packages are being upgraded and just press y and enter you can select all those and then select ok option or directly tab into it and press ok and with this our installation is complete my sound quality was not very good as i was recording it from my phone sorry about that in upcoming videos i will show you all these things if you have any doubts you can always ask it in comment box and thank you for watching till the end guys if you like my content please do subscribe my channel it's me Rachit signing out